All right, so the question was asked with the Lego type font. Uh, this person was trying to just do a simple print then cut. However, when she sends it to the cutting machine, uh, she actually gets this text here and she flattens it and everything. And, you know, it's still cutting out the insides. And what we need to do is give the font a backing. So just like that. So uh, basically, once you get it like this, then you can select everything and then go to flatten and everything will cut around this and it will ignore the inside. Okay. So how do we go from font like this to this. Well, uh, you're going to need to do a couple things first. First, you need to size everything the way that you want. And then uh, basically, we're going to have to duplicate this. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy and then paste it. Okay. So now we have two copies. So th this copy right here will be my top copy, which is the, the white that we saw up here. And this bottom right here will be the the black, all right, the black base. So typically what you'd want to do is contour this. Now, for some reason, uh, contour is not working. So how can we get something that gives us a contour? Well, we need to go to a shape real quick and get a box, okay? Unlock it, draw a box around here, and we're gonna cover this thing up to, to allow us to contour. All right. So now with that selected, I'm going to select both of those. And now I can go ahead and slice. What slice will do for me is it will actually give me the contour uh, lines that I would normally have thought that they were there. Okay. So I'm done with this one. Delete. And there's going to be two copies of this. All right. This one I believe I no longer need. And I can go ahead and contour this. So this is going to give me my, my black base, okay? And I'm going to do this, just clicking on all these pieces right here. And now I have my black base. The next thing I need to do is, uh, you know, with this other one that we copied, you know, I'm going to have to do the exact same thing, draw a box around it, uh, just to keep things simple. I uh, did it this way. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and draw another box around here, unlock it, stretch it across, and we're going to go ahead and do slice again. So with, uh, with both those things selected, go up to slice. All right, we're just going to delete things we don't need. Removing that, this is what we're going to, uh, to contour, okay? So uh, with this selected, I'm going to go ahead and change the characteristics to white. And I'm going to select the contour. And, and at this point, I'm just going to keep the, the white areas. Okay, so I'm basically selecting the black border here. And make sure I got everything. We'll see. There we go. And now all we have to do is slide it into place. And it looks like I contoured the wrong L, which is fine. We can always go back to contour and select the proper one. So there we go. Now we can slide that back up into place. We select everything and then go to flatten. And now we will not have those insides cut out. So hopefully that made sense uh, and helped you out with that type of font. Like I said, I have no idea why the slice or the contour, rather, the contour was not available to you uh, as the font. So anyways, that's how you can do it uh, with this font. Okay.